everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. Today you are looking at my entire Realistic Doll collection. Today I'm going to go through each of my Reborns and Realistic Dolls and tell you a little bit about them, a little bit of their backstory, their kit, and who they were painted by. So let's get started. This is the very first doll that I ever got that was in the Realistic Doll category. I'm going to go in order of in which I got them. So you are looking at Lexi Lynn. She is a 1984 Hasbro real baby doll. I will put that text on the screen as well. I got her when I was little. I can't remember exactly what age, but she was my mom's doll when she was little and she has been a very important part of my life. For as far as I can remember, I used to take her on walks. I would take her everywhere, take her to the grocery store. I would buy clothes for her. So she's very, very special to me and important, and she will never go anywhere. She will never be sold. She will never be donated or anything. So she will always be a constant in my collection. She has three forced arms and, well, they're almost full arms and almost full legs. She has blonde rooted hair. It's very silky and shiny. So she can wear onesies without a problem or anything. She can take a cut pacifier. And on my channel and on my Instagram, she's role-played as like a six-month-old because she can um, stand up with a little bit of help and sit up too. So that's her age on my role-play. So this is Lexi Lynn. This is Harper Grace. She is an Ashton Drake baby doll. She is the Welcome to the World Baby Girl doll. She was my second doll to get in my collection. When I started playing with Lexi again, when I was a little bit older, I had put her away for only about a year and I realized that I really missed playing with dolls. So I got her out again and I, Lexi kind of got me into the Reborn community and so I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, I finally made an Instagram, and I was like, you know what, I really like this hobby, and I really think I want to get started with this. So I asked my parents if I could get an Ashton Drake doll, which are obviously less expensive than Reborn dolls. So she was very affordable, and she's very high quality, and I love her very much. She has three-fourths arms and three-fourths legs. She cannot take a pacifier, she doesn't have a magnet or anything. She has glued dark brown hair, as you can see. I hope you can see that well on the camera. So she does have blushing on her hands and knees and nail tipping and stuff like that. She's not as realistic as Reborns, but a lot of people have still been fooled by her. So this is Harper Grace. Harper Joy. The next baby I got in my collection is Charlotte May. She was a gift from a friend on Instagram. This was my friend's very first Reborn doll and she wasn't bonding with her anymore so she decided to send her to me for free. So she is a bit of a boo-boo baby so she's mainly just a cuddle baby. She mainly just wears sleepers and hats and hand mittens. She does have some light brown rooted hair but it's not very good quality so she wears a hat most of the time. If you can see from the video she also has pierced ears. And she's very cuddly, and I love to snuggle with her. She is a Bountiful Baby Kit. I cannot remember the exact kit name off the top of my head, but I will put that on the screen. She does have a magnet, so she can take a magnetic pacifier. She will also stay here forever, as she is a, my first, very first real Reborn doll, so she's very special to me. So this is Charlotte May. This is Hannah Grace. She was painted by Weeby Dolls on Instagram. Her name is Wendy. She is the Sunny Kit, excuse me, the Sunny Kit by Joanna K. I'm not sure how to say her last name, but I'll put that on the screen. She has full arms and full legs. She's super, super adorable, as you can see. She's such a little ham in pictures and things. I got her in May of this year. I purchased her from my grandma. She has a darker blonde rooted hair and darker blonde eyelashes as well and she has blue eyes and she's very 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 pretty she's beautifully painted and I love her very very much so this is Hannah Grace this is my very special boy Isaac Reed he is a Levi kit by Bonnie Brown and he was painted by Shannon from Tiny Toes Nursery on Instagram 
I will leave all of my baby's artist information down below so that you know. He, I got him a month or so ago, maybe longer. He also came to the doll show with me in Kansas. He has painted brown hair and he was a gift from a very, very special friend. So this is Isaac Reed. This is a new face on my channel. So her, this little cutie's name is Abby Hope. I got her at the Kansas Doll Show. She was originally displayed as a boy, but I thought she made a better girl. She was painted by a 10 year old artist named Olivia. So I purchased her at the doll show. She has, she's a, kind of a baldy, but she has a teeny bit of painted hair. She has a little bit of um, eyelashes drawn on eyelashes and she has very very pretty blue eyes she has three-fourths arms and legs she's more of a short newborn size so I'm super excited to have her in my collection be making more videos with her so stay tuned for more videos with Abby Hope the very last baby in my collection is this tiny boy he is a three and a half inch resin baby that I also got at the doll show I will put his artist's information in the description below because I can't remember it off the top of my head but this little boy's name is Noah Gray he is super cute I've posted him on my Instagram a little bit but I have not introduced him here on YouTube so if you'd like to see more pictures of him and all of my babies go ahead and follow my Instagram that will be in the description below so guys this was my entire collection I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and hit that like button also, subscribe so you can join our doll family and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and be blessed.